You guys are not gonna believe what I'm about to eat right now. Dogs, rats, snails, worms, insects. You cannot imagine this, I cannot imagine this. And you probably didn't even know that these things are eaten in India. So let's go and let's discover the weird and wonderful of Indian street food here in the state of Nagaland. This market is incredible, it's like 500 meters long. Bro, bro, what? <laughs> you guys have got cakes, right? Are you shy? Yeah, you shouldn't be. What's up, Cardinal? Hey, buddy, you know me, what's up? Now you're on the vlog, sorry. <laughs> ah, we'll have cake for dessert. Not right now, though, okay? This lady is serving silkworm. I'm gonna try this right now. They're worms and they're just deep fried with some spices. That's it. Silkworms. Alright, so these are 250 rupees and you can't just buy a small pack, you've got to buy the whole thing. So what I have here is silk worm. And it doesn't look good, it looks like like a big fat juicy worm covered in holy, covered in turmeric. So it's yellow and fat and it's cold. I don't even know if it's been deep fried or not. Anyway, let's give it a go. There's something in the middle there. No idea what that is. The worm is really soft and it has this kind of, this outer shell which is kind of like, like plasticky. And then inside you've got this really soft kind of meaty texture. It's really soft. It's kind of like marshmallow inside a plastic layer. And it tastes like chili and like turmeric. Doesn't taste like much to be honest. I wouldn't say I love it, but you can eat it just fine. Nothing weird about it. All right, our second test subject for silkworm. Let's Dig in, bro. Let's do this. I heard something about plastic. Not too bad. Not it's, too bad. You expect I, something gross, right? But yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. I, I won't eat the whole thing, but yeah. Yeah. They'd be way better if they were warm, they were cold, but anyway. They're 250 rupees for that small punnet. So they're really expensive and the lady wouldn't even let us try them. You had to pay 250 rupees minimum to get some of these silk worms. All right, we're gonna come here and we're gonna try snail chutney. And we found dog meat. So we're gonna get stuck into that now. We're gonna have dog curry. So this is snail chutney. This is dog meat curry. Hi, can we have snail chutney and dog meat? We've got dog meat here, and I've never had dog before. And I'll talk more about this in a second. But we're gonna try it. There's bones in it, and there's a lot of fat. This bit doesn't have a bone. It looks exactly like lamb. Doesn't look any different to lamb. Let's go for it, eh? It's red inside, it's red meat. Really, really similar to beef and lamb. Again, you've got that chili flavor, they prepared it with a curry sauce. A lot of oil. But it's a tender meat, it's not that chewy. And the closest thing I can liken it to is lamb chops. It's extremely similar to lamb chops that we have back home. McGean is gonna now try the dog meat. It's the second time, he's had it before. Yeah, in Lao, it was really, I don't know, I really didn't like it, so let's see how this is. Mm. It's so much better. Yeah, I think lamb actually describes it really well. This is a bit scarier, snails. Look how ugly these things are. Ugly. Oh. And actually there's a there's a hard shell on the snail. I'm gonna have to get the snail out of there and eat it. And of course they eat these in France as well, so these aren't so weird. Hey, can you come here? How do you eat this? First uh, on the back you need to suck once, then on the front and it will come. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah. So to eat snail in Nagaland, you've got to suck <laughs> on the back first. Then you suck on the front, it's just gonna pop out. So let's go. <laughs> there it is. 
It didn't come, but I can see it. <laughs> Jello, here it is. I got it. Let's try that again. It's definitely hit there now. There it is. Can you see? Again, they've, they've put a lot of spices in this, so you're getting chili a lot in this again. And yeah, it's, it's hard. It doesn't really have a distinct taste that I can tell you. Like, like the dog tastes like lamb. This just tastes like, I don't know, worm, chili worm. Chili worm, that's how I'm going to describe it. it. Tastes like chili and worm, that's it. Everything here we've tried so far, the silkworm, the dog, and the snail, it's all got this overpowering kind of chili and turmeric flavor. I can't describe it any better than that. The curry sauce is really light on everything. It just lightly covers the silkworm or the dog or the snail. Now I know you guys are all gonna blast me in the comments for eating kutaji, but here in Nagaland, it's completely normal to eat dog. They eat dog like we eat pork or, or chicken or beef, and either way, an animal has been killed, so we can't be hypocrites about it. If you eat meat, you know, you can't discriminate from what the meat is. You can't say these people shouldn't be eating dog or these people shouldn't be eating cat. They can, they've been brought up eating it. It's normal for them to eat these animals. They're part of culture and part of the diet here. And what we need to do is we need to respect other people's dietary and, and we just need to respect what other people eat as long as that animal isn't endangered, of course. And then it becomes a bit of an issue, but yeah, I really believe we need to respect people, even if they eat cat or dog, animals that we might have close attachments to. We can't be hypocrites about it. Meat is meat. I'm really wondering how my stomach's gonna hold up tomorrow after I've been eating all these weird things. My God, my body must be like, what was that you just ate, Carl? All right, we found intestine sausages, and back in the old days, the outside wrapping of the sausage used to be made of intestine anyway, if it's still not, I'm not sure. So anyway, this sausage is filled with the intestines of a pig. Let's do it. So this is the pig intestine sausage she's cooking us right now, the black sausage there. And she's just basting it with, is that butter? No sauce. Sauce, okay. Chili sauce. <laughs> what sauce? Masala sauce. Masala sauce. All right. Thank you so much. Looks great. All right, here's the pig intestine sausage. You've got all the intestines of the pig ground down and put into this kind of kind of strange looking sausage on a skewer. Let's give it a go, eh? Let's see. Oh, it's hard to go off. Hang on. Mm, not so good. It looks like blood inside, basically, and that's kind of what it tastes like. It's not so meaty. It's more. It's more more bloody, actually. The flavor is how I imagine like cooked blood. I've never actually had blood sausages before, but that's what I imagine this is. You give it a go, bro. Oh, thanks. Great introduction. Of, uh, yeah, let's see. see. See what it looks like? It's like... Have you tried blood sausage before? It's a British, it's a British thing. It's just dry or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's just... It's got a texture like bread, actually. That's what it has a texture like. Yeah, yeah. It almost feels like you need ketchup or something. <laughs> ah, it needs sauce, yeah. actually. And again, a ton of chili in there. Yeah, no. Not my favorite. Ah, it doesn't do anything for me. The dog meat has been my favorite so far, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you can have it back. You take it, bro. I'll hand it to somebody else. Let's try to get Manisha to eat it. It tastes amazing. Wait until you try it. It's like your new version of butter chicken. Oh, she likes it. Ugh, I thought it was disgusting. <laughs> you didn't mind it, though. Nagaland, I love it. It's so weird trying all these different foods. My god, I never thought I would try any of these things, especially dog meat in my life. My god. Thank you, Nagaland. Okay, I've been lied to. I don't think we're gonna find rats here. But let's see what else we can find now. I'm sure we can find some other interesting things here. This food tour has been such a whirlwind. I've met so many of my Northeast subscribers too. I love that. I freaking love that. Beef is banned in most of India, so I think it's only fitting that we now 
eat a beef skewer. It's hard to get and I miss it whenever I'm anywhere else in India. So whenever I come to a state where I can eat it, yeah, I do. We found something even worse for me to eat. Meat cooked with blood. And he's so excited for me to try this. What have you found for me? Yeah. We found Modi. Modi. What, what is Modi? Please tell us. Modi, what is it? Yeah. Modi is cooked meat. Cooked? Oh, yeah, cooked meat. Cooked, yeah. With blood. With blood and? Yeah. With blood, garlic. Okay, great. And we'll it. try it. Shalom. So this is a special of one of the tribes here in Nagaland. It's given as a return gift. And what it is, it's pork cooked with blood. This is the guy who's trying to torture me with all these <laughs> weird foods that I'm trying it tonight. It's so much fun. Oh. <laughs> and so it's wrapped in these banana leaves, is it? The traditional oh, okay. Very nice. <laughs> is it hot or is it cold? It's cold. Like okay. So we eat it cold? Yeah, you can eat it. Okay, great. Go for it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It does look like blood. And so yeah, this is it. It's pork cooked in blood. And you can see the blood quite visibly. And then you've got massive chunks of pork in there as well. Let's give it a go. Okay, so the name of this dish is Modi. And don't get this confused with Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India. He'll get totally pissed off at you. It's just the same name. Modi is, I'm sure, a very good Gujarati vegetarian and actually I know he has a personal Gujarati vegetarian chef and there's about like five or six massive chunks of pork and it's quite expensive it's 300 rupees and we're totally gonna waste it because there's no way we can eat all of this anyway let's do it I hate the taste of blood so <sighs> try and rip it apart with my fingers there you go I uh, there's no pork in there it is all fat Okay, here we go. We've got some pork. I'm not a big fan of like a massive water fat. Let's go for the pork thing. Yeah. Tastes like pork. You can hardly taste the blood. You can taste it a little bit. I don't know if I give this as a return gift at a wedding. I'd probably give something sweet like jalebi or mithai. But this is what they do here in Nagaland with this. You see, they keep the skin on it. You've got this really fleshy pig skin here. No, I'm not gonna eat that. I wasn't planning on eating pork tonight, actually. I wanted to stick to the strictly strange food, but when you're cooking it in blood, that counts as strange. I am gonna get in so much trouble making this video because now, after eating dog, I'm now eating beef, which is banned in many states here in India. And actually, whenever I can get my hands on some beef, I will eat it. So whenever I'm out of Delhi, and I'm in Kerala, I'm in West Bengal, I'm in the Northeast, I'll eat beef. <laughs> Hi. Beef balls, please. One more. Yeah. All right, they're frying up my beef balls now, reheating it. Yeah, yeah. And look at that pork sizzling there, wow. Shabashi. Hi, up am um, I am Bihari. Ah, Bihari, that's why you said home. <laughs> In Bihari, instead of saying me, they say, Hum Bihari hu. Hey, no? Hum Bihari hai. Kya? I'm Indian hai. Acha. And what are you eating? I don't know English. Tige, tige. Abhi ab kya ka raha hai? Chicken. Chicken, okay. That's what I wanted to know. Me beef ka raha hu. Tige? Problem nahi hai? And actually, that is the reaction you're going to get from most Indians. They don't care about other people's diets and what other people are eating. They let people be free to eat what they want. Which is something the Indian government does not do. Alright, I've got the beef balls, let's do this. Okay, thank you. Oh, yum. Mm. It's beef. There's spices and there's a lot of garlic in there. It's like garlic beef balls. Then they've roasted them over a fire here. Man, New Zealand say who? Eggman of my film banana. Digger? That's my friend from Bihar who 
You've probably just seen just before. I apologize. These guys are playing my jam right now. Breakup song. Yeah, we got the Hindi music here in Nagaland. Salat Kari Makiok. DJ? Yes, I'm ready. Woo. Done. Done. Thank you. Salakbar. Crazy times here with this Hindi music. See, that's what Hindi music does to you. It makes you go crazy. Oh. Woohoo! We're about to try the Hone right now, and I hope I pronounced that right. A Hone is. A traditional Nagaland food. It's made in every single house. And what they do is they ferment soya beans over two or three days. And it turns into what you can see right now. And it's eaten with pork. So you've got pork here, you've got fat, and you've got the ahone. And the ahone is the gravy you can see here. Did I say it right? Ahone. Your pronunciation is really bad, man. It's ahone. Ahone. Yeah. You've got to really say Hone from your throat. Hone. I get this really strong chili flavor from it. And actually, the ingredients of this are chili, salt, ginger, garlic, and that's about all I can actually taste. You can't actually taste any soya bean in it. You wouldn't know this was from fermented soya bean. There is just, there's no soya bean to it. I don't know. It's different, it's weird. But yeah, really, really strong chili taste. That's all I get from it. And this is a traditional preparation in homes here in Nagaland. Every single home makes this kind of base curry and it's eaten by everybody here. Perhaps one of the most popular dishes here in Nagaland. South Indians will love what they're seeing right now. These women all along this row are selling these sweet idlis. That's what I call it. People are telling me it's definitely not Italy, but I tried it and it's definitely rice cakes, but quite sweet. It's a sweet Italy. We haven't been able to find rat, guinea pig, frogs, or grasshoppers, and I'm sad about this because I saw them being sold at the markets here in the morning, just Yay. not cooked. Yeah, hey, what's cool. up? Have you ever eaten rats before? What? I Have wanted. I know. Oh I wanted to eat it. No. I saw them being sold at the market. Where? Which market? Uh, Mao. Mao market and frogs, but no. I couldn't oh, eat it here. Oh, frogs is good. Frogs is good. Yeah, yeah. I want to try it next time, eh? Okay, next time. Have a nice day. Thank you, bro. Northeast people are super, super sweet. So while we consider this food weird, we're the ones who are actually weird. Here, this food is totally normal, and we are the weird ones finding it so strange and what you realize is that you think you can't eat this stuff but what you realize is that it's all in your mind that you can actually eat this stuff dog does not look like dog when it's sitting in front of you it looks totally different and it looks damn appetizing so yeah we are weird people here and the food they eat is not weird it's totally normal for them and guys in the comments I want you to tell me what is the weirdest food that you have ever eaten in your life. Leave it in the comments below, guys. Do it, do it, do it now. Oh, look at this. Wow. Whoa. 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 Scary mask. Go. No worries, buddy. 